As another MBA application season ramps up, we consider an important question. Is an MBA even worth it in 2024-25? It's a challenging question to answer, but we'll do our best. Right now, there are two very different narratives in the world. One incredibly optimistic and one far more pessimistic. So on the one hand, the American economy and the global economy continue to grow somewhat stubbornly. It feels like the Fed and other central banks keep trying to cool the economy down by raising interest rates, but the economy keeps on roaring and unemployment is quite low for college grads. Meantime, many expect waves of investment and innovation via the revolution in AI. So strong economy, low unemployment, potential for productivity boosts. The optimist would say that now is the wrong time to go to business school because you have job security like few other times in recent history. But as you consider whether now is the right time or not to apply, you kind of have to look to the future. So if you're potentially applying in September 2024, what does the economy look like in August 2025 when you would theoretically matriculate? Will interest rates finally slow down the economy? Will car manufacturers and landlords finally feel the pinch? Will global uncertainty with volatility in the Middle East and Eastern Europe lead to higher oil prices or other forms of uncertainty? Of course, it's impossible to know what's going to happen, but application volumes tend to surge as economies slow down. During the pandemic, the financial crisis, and the tech bust, three major economic crises that have occurred over the last 20 years, it suddenly became a lot harder to get into business school. Applicants sought shelter in business school, hoping to ride out the tougher economic times. So if you're concerned about where the economy is heading, then maybe now is the time to apply to get ahead of the curve, to beat the rush. If you think the economy is stronger than ever, well, no rush. But, again, but, there's another argument altogether, and that is that the MBA is actually not a short-term investment at all. It requires long-term thinking. If you ask an MBA 20 years after graduation what the enduring value of their degree was, most will tell you that they still benefit from their leadership and organizational behavior classes. They talk about how their education better enabled them to understand how to listen and motivate people. They will say their MBA allowed them to align their team, division, group, or organization by a goal and ensure that their teams move forward towards it quickly. They'll talk about how they have a perspective on how to make their firm a better place to be. Years of working with MBAs have shown us that MBAs say that it all pays off in the long term. And if that's the case, you don't need to be a short-term optimist or pessimist. You just need to be a long-term planner. If you're managing your career for the long haul, 2024 is as good a time as any to get your MBA. Okay, so now you're gonna have to make your own choice as to whether you want to apply or not. One other factor in this evaluative process, it isn't just timing, it's how competitive you are as an applicant. Stay tuned for our next video on Am I a Competitive Applicant? A four-part series. Best of luck with your applications.